up you guys I'm back with another video for you guys this is going to be a super quick video because I'm gonna start getting straight to the point okay we came here for a purpose so let's get the message out okay before I start this video for all of my newcomers if you guys have no idea who I am my name is Amani Jelena the owner of Allure 96 hair and lash and also the brand owner of AmaniJelena.co so if you need any mentoring after this video if you need any digital downloads regarding ebooks webinars or anything like that pertaining to the educational purpose of your business head over to AmaniJelena.co schedule a call with me or browse the website because I'm sure I have some amazing goodies on the website that can help you further your business venture and all that good stuff and lastly let's get into this hair if you guys like I said are interested in ordering any of my units this unit of course is from Allure 96 this is a 613 unit so if you are interested in ordering from me head over to allure96.com but let's talk about building your business credit without your social security number okay this is very important i am on this new leaf of building business credit and all the information that i come across i'm telling you guys the first thing that we're going to talk about is so you need to make sure your business is registered you need to make sure you either have an llc a s corporate or corporate um, type of protection when you are trying to build your business credit that's number one the next thing is you need to make sure you have an EIN number if you guys do not know how to get an EIN number I'm going to leave right above the screen a video on how to get a free EIN number for those of you who have no idea how to even get an EIN number it's super easy super simple probably takes five to seven minutes to get an EIN number you literally plug all of your information in, submit it, and you get your EIN number right then and there. So if you guys need an EIN number, pay attention to the top of the screen. It'll be in the I index cards. And just click it, watch the video, and get your EIN number. The next thing is going to be getting a virtual address. Now, some of you guys are probably like, what the hell is a virtual address? <laughs> a virtual address is basically... A P.O. box. Get yourself a P.O. box, um, something that you can get mail sent to, and it's basically an address that you get all of your business related information sent to as far as return address, um, mailing out address, all that good stuff. Make sure you, you have yourself a virtual address, i.e., P.O. box. That is very important. The next thing is going to be make sure you get a DUNS number. Do you guys know what a DUNS number is? Okay, for those of you in the back that do not know what a DUNS number is, and basically a DUNS number is a nine digit number that is assigned to businesses that is listed in Dun and Bradstreet's database. But I want you guys to understand this, your DUNS number and then your EIN number are two totally different numbers. Your EIN number is basically the number that the IRS uses for tax purposes. You're going to use your EIN number for opening business bank accounts and opening different lines of credit. But the DUNS number, which is again a nine digit number, which is linked to your business's credit report with Dunn and Bradstreet. But just be mindful with the DUNS number, it's just linked with DNB, Dunn and Brad. Now, with other credit report agencies regarding like Experian Business, or Equifax small business they have a completely separate way of like tracking your business through credit okay so I just want you guys to 100% understand that so I have to break it down like that for you guys okay the next thing moving on the next thing is gonna be get yourself a business number very simple straightforward okay and then the very last thing that I'm going to tell you guys register with the 411 directory okay now I bet you guys are like okay how the hell do I do that and it's as for that it's literally three steps you literally call your business phone provider you let your provider know that you want to authorize your account to make changes and you want them to add your business number to the 411 directory it's literally that simple okay so I hope this information does help you guys I will be dropping a lot of like gems like this very often 
because like I said, I'm in the process of building my business credit too. And the more information that I learn pertaining to new things, I will give to you guys. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe for more tips and tricks. Make sure you shop with me. And if you have any questions, schedule a coaching call with me so we can have a one-on-one. -on -one. Because in my comment section, <sighs> I don't want everybody to know your personal business in the comment section. So if you need to schedule a call with me and we can have a detailed conversation about you and your business and what you need help with, book that call with me, okay? But I love, love, love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. So for those of you who want to get a free thermal printer so you can sh print out all of your shipping labels, keep watching this video. And also stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be all about this hair, y'all.